Scott with Yakima here. Let's learn how to install and use the Hold Up Evo Hitch Bike Rack. Hold Up Evo is a serious update to a proven Yakima classic. It's easy to use, durable, and more versatile than ever. Not to mention, its sleek and rugged look is sure to turn heads. Let's get started. Out of the box, it comes with a tongue, a spine, two tray assemblies, two spacers, some hardware, and two wrenches. Depending on your hitch receiver size, you will need either the inch and a quarter version or the two inch version we have here. First step of the install, insert the tongue receiver into your hitch receiver, making sure the hole in the tongue aligns with the hole in the receiver. Insert the safety pin. Then tighten down the speed knob while gently rocking the Hold Up Evo back and forth. Now, lock the knob with your included SKS key. The lock knob will spin freely, like this. Next, affix the spacers to the tongue. and place the spine onto the tongue, aligning the holes like this. Once aligned, insert the spine bolt and secure with the nut. Don't forget the washers. Then, tighten up the nut and bolt with the provided wrenches. Now, grab the trays and remove the four bolts from each. Be sure to set them nearby. The two trays are slightly different. The lower tray has a large Yakima sticker on the bottom, and the upper tray has a smaller Yakima sticker on the side. Start with the lower tray and place it in the lower position on the spine with the Yakima sticker right side up, like this. Then, reinstall and tighten the four bolts, washers, and lock washers onto the tray using the provided wrench. Repeat this process with the upper tray, making sure the tray is facing the opposite direction and the Yakima sticker is facing up, like this. That's it, it's time to add bikes. The Hold Up Evo holds bikes up to 50 pounds each and will fit any bike that has 20 inch to 29 inch wheels and tires up to five inches wide. To load, first use the kickstart foot pedal to lower the rack. Remember, load the heaviest bike first and load the tray closest to the vehicle first, even if you only have one bike. Fold open the inner tray's wheel hoop and strong arm hook, like this. And tuck the wheel strap out of the way. Then, place your bike on the rack, making sure your tires are at pressure before securing. Now bring up the strong arm hook so the hook's one inch or less from your fork or brakes, and push down the hook until it's firm against your tire. Now, strap up that rear wheel. Let's lock it up. Pull the locking cable out of the strong arm hook and wrap it around the bike frame, like this. Lock with your SKS key. To load a second bike, repeat the process with the bike facing the other direction. If your bikes are interfering with one another, simply adjust one of the trays. To do so, loosen the tray's bolts. Don't remove them. Slide the tray, much better, and tighten the bolts back up. Once loaded, use the lever to tilt the rack and access your trunk or tailgate. And remember, if you're grabbing a cold one from the back, the Hold Up Evo can help you there too. Unloading your bike is even easier, just reverse the process. Unstrap, release the hook, remove the bike, and hit the trail. When you aren't hauling bikes, make sure the wheel hoops are folded in and the strong arm hooks are secured to the wheel trays, like this. Then flip the rack up and out of the way using the tilt lever. If you have the 2-inch version of the Hold Up Evo, you can expand it to carry 4 bikes by adding the Hold Up Evo Plus 2. Want to take your Hold Up Evo off? Simply pull the safety pin, unlock and loosen the speed knob, then remove and store your Hold Up Evo for your next adventure. 
that's it. See you next time.